February 2020, China was seeking a patent on remdesivir from Gilead Sciences, who manufactures remdesivir, the drug. This is in February 2020. I want you to go to the next slide. This is just the article. Look here. A study published in the New England Journal of Medicine last week reported a coronavirus patient in the United States. How many? A coronavirus patient in the United States was found to show an improvement after taking remdesivir, which is also used to treat infectious diseases such as Ebola. This is February 2020. This is the lie. All right, next one. Let's look at the Ebola study. This is what I did in May 2020. I've been in the media ever since to educate you guys the current genocidal attempt and murderous attempts of Anthony Fauci, the NIH, the FDA, the CDC are all using remdesivir the same way that they used gas chambers to destroy people in Germany. This is how they're doing it and perpetuating those deaths using a drug in hospitals. This is the actual Ebola study that Anthony Fauci quoted in May 2020. Proved, he said, we're going to use this non-FDA approved drug. It's been approved since, but it wasn't before the pandemic. We're going to use this non-FDA approved drug called remdesivir because it was shown to be safe and efficacious against the Ebola virus in 2018 and 2019. Has anybody actually looked at this study? Because I clicked the link on NIH.gov's website, all of you should do it. This is the study. Ebola virus inside of Africa. They took four regions, gave them all remdesivir and three other experimental drugs. Anthony Fauci said it was proven to be safe and effective against the Ebola virus. So now in this novel virus, of the coronavirus. We're going to use it there also. We're going to mandate this one drug. You can't use any other ones like hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine back in May 2020. Go to the next slide, please. So what did the actual study find? <clears throat> they actually found, you can see here, you see mortality up there? Definition inside the study. They found that remdesivir in six months, the safety board pulled remdesivir from the study, a one-year study, because it killed more people than any of the other three drugs, including ZMAP, which was put in by the FDA and the NIH. So six months into the study, they pulled remdesivir, they pulled ZMAP, which was supplied by our government to Africa because it killed more people. How many people did it kill? Remdesivir killed 54% of all people in the study that got the drug. Do you know what they're treating all of your loved ones with and those you care about in this country now? Next slide, please. Look up here. I'm not lying. This is from the study. Look at the second, second column to, from the right, remdesivir. Look below there. 54%. You see that? Mortality rate. All right, next slide, please. He then quoted a second study in May 2020, Anthony Fauci did, that supported the use of remdesivir in the treatment of coronavirus. The Ebola study, by the way, was a lie. No one clicked the link to look at it. I did. This is the other study he mentioned. This was actually done by Gilead Sciences, who makes remdesivir. In early March 2020, they took 53 patients from Japan, Canada, and America who had COVID-19, and they put them on the drug for 10 days. What's the drug? Remdesivir. This is the maker of remdesivir's own trial study. Next slide, please. What did they find? Check this out. 23% in 10 days had serious adverse events. The most common serious adverse events were multiple organ dysfunction syndrome, which is defined as the number one cause of death in all ICUs, by the way. Second, septic shock, acute kidney failure, and hypotension. Look at the next part. 8% had to be discontinued because remdesivir treatment, it worsened or, or prevented, sorry, pre-existing 
kidney failure and multiple organ failure. 8% had to be taken off by days 5 because they were dying as a result of the poison of remdesivir. That's what they found from this study. As a result of these studies, they decided to actually push this on the masses. All of you, this was going to be the drug choice. Why? Because it would actually make COVID-19 look more deadly than it really was. One other disgusting thing, Anthony Fauci and our federal health agencies bought up all of the reserves and stock of this experimental drug in 2020. We didn't even let another country have it till the end of October 2020. Do you want to know why America had the most deaths during 2020 in this pandemic than any other country? We were the only country treating people with remdesivir proven to cause acute kidney failure, multiple organ failure, septic shock and hypotension, all of which are lethal. This was the great setup. So they set this up so that they can murder people, then convince you people were dying of COVID-19. They didn't die of COVID-19. They actually died from remdesivir poisoning, causing acute kidney failure. If you just listen to the media, the New York press conferences of all the doctors when Ebola, or sorry, when Corona was going throughout New York early on, they were reporting we've never seen a virus ever attack vir the kidneys like this one is. You start treating this virus and it attacks the kidneys and shut it down. Not only are we finding that we have limited supply of ventilators, we don't have enough dialysis machines for their kidneys. These doctors had no idea it was never the virus to begin with. Remdesivir was proven in 30% of all people to cause acute kidney failure. Do you know what happens when you shut down the kidneys in somebody? Your kidneys release water from the body. Guess what happens when you shut them down? Your body retains water. Your abdomen fills with water. Your heart fills with water. Your lungs fill with water. Do you know what they call that? Pulmonary edema. You are drowning these people to death with their own fluids and they can't breathe. They were calling it secondary pneumonia. You have to listen to me. Still today, they are calling it pneumonia from Corona. No, it isn't. They are shutting down everybody's kidneys with remdesivir, causing their lungs to fill with fluid and they are drowning to them to death. Do you want to know why this made me so angry? In May 2020, February 2020, I watched a hospital in Dallas, Texas, kill my father-in-law with the same protocols. They are still doing it today, and they are, they are, I'm telling you right now, anybody who's got a loved one in ICUs, please listen to me. Anybody who's got COVID-19, you're going to be threatened with death if you go into a hospital. They have set this up where they're going to use remdesivir, 31% of people treated with for COVID-19 will have acute kidney failure. Their lungs will fill with fluid. Right now they're adding dexamethasone, which has 4% reported kidney failure for all those who get it. So now you're up to 35%. If anyone listening to this has a loved one in a hospital and they have added to that protocol a drug called vancomycin, which is an antibiotic. Antibiotics don't treat viruses, by the way. If they put them on there, Upwards of 10% of all of those individuals will experience even worsened acute kidney failure. It will stop their heart, pressure on their heart, make them go into a coma, make them unconscious, and they will die. And they will say it was because of COVID-19. This is not true. Yeah, they're doing it to all of them. All right, so this is the mass genocide that they're using, remdesivir. There's a reason why more people died in America than any other country in 2020. We were the only country using remdesivir, and Anthony Fauci was the one that mandated it. Okay, now what else was disgusting? Let's go to the next one. This was the next thing that made me super angry. In October 2020. All right, so now I have a problem with the NIH, with Anthony Fauci from May 2020 saying we're going to use a drug proven to be effective against Ebola. Was it proven to be effective against Ebola? No, it didn't even make it to the end of the trial. Number two. The, number two. Number two is the FDA. Ready? This report, go back. Yeah, you look at the date. CBR plans, a division inside of the FDA. You'll see the FDA logo at the top. This is dated October 22nd, 2020. 
They were setting up how they were going to evaluate for injuries from vaccines being reported to the government. Once they started going out in December, this is in October, 25 slide presentation. Good luck finding this link now. I have it downloadable. I hope you got the QR code because I'll send you the whole document. Next one. This was slide 16. If you haven't seen any of my presentations, FDA safety surveillance of COVID-19 vaccines. Look at the list of what they knew was going to start being reported to the government as a result of injuries from the coming vaccines. Disgustingly enough, this list, when the same organization, the FDA, two months later in December, created the fact sheets to go out with the vaccines to the entire American public, for each vaccine, they're supposed to list the health benefits and the risks associated with those vaccines. The FDA created these fact sheets. Do you know not one of these showed up on that list or on that fact sheet? I call this criminal. They knew it, but they didn't tell you. Just so you know, on this list, three on the side, on the right, two on the left are all related to blood clot disorders. They knew that two months before the shots came out. Look at the bottom right. I know I'm almost out of time. Bottom right, you have to be aware of this. This is what we know is coming from the shots. Don't even ignore on the right top. Isn't it odd that death isn't listed first? <laughs> Pregnancy and birth outcomes like miscarriages aren't a big deal or birth defects aren't a big deal. We'll list those on the second column. Bottom right, multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. Does this say adults? Does it say teenagers? No, it says in children. The Mayo Clinic defines this condition or disease is a serious condition where multiple organs in a child will become severely inflamed and they can die from it, which includes inflammation of the brain, kidneys, spleen, gut, heart, eyes, all at once. Go to cdc.gov, type in MIS-C, which is that abbreviation, it's already been reported over 4,400 children have been reported with this and over 40 children in America have died already. And they want to start pushing that on your children come September.